Welcome back everyone. I'm Zach Bell and I'm pleased to bring you the 2022 version of the TCF Paper Football Challenge. Sitting next to me is the always honorable and paper football authority, Barry W. Cooper. You, you know, thank you, Zach. Good to see you, Z. Bell. I noticed there was a pause when you said honorable, so we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you know, it's been almost two years, and I'm more than excited, ecstatic, for another year of paper football. Right. I really miss the flicker of fingers and the roar of the crowd when a team scores. Last year's tournament was canceled due to the COVID-19 oh. pandemic. But as Zach mentioned, we're back! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Ugh. I can't even say it. Hey, it's late. I Whatever. Get it. <laughs> Whatever that word is. Uh, like you, Barry, all of the events in Tustin, this is my favorite. Yep. All right? Just the smell of the plastic football fields and seeing paper footballs flying everywhere, it warms my heart. I'll tell you, Zach, this year will be an unparalleled in the annals of paper football history. Starting anew after such a long layoff is unprecedented, as you know. So all you players out there, start warming up your fingers and get ready to play. Yes, we will again have 48 teams competing to hold up the highly sought after TCF trophy. But we have more. More? Oh, tell yeah. tell yeah. me a little bit about it. I will tell, Zach, thank you. you. Not only are teams vying for the coveted TCF trophy, but a huge paycheck made out to their charity. Mm. As you know, each team represents a charity, and each charities receive at least $100. Now, that's big bucks. Absolutely, that's real big bucks, Barry. But I heard that all the charities are located right here in the city of Tustin. Oh, you're correct, my friend. Well, Coop, isn't it true that the Tustin Community yeah. Foundation has been putting on this annual event since 2015? Yes. And its annual founder and its major sponsor is Chick-fil-A's own Peter Brakey? Yeah, Peter Brakey. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I hate to correct you. You're a friend and a colleague and a brother, but it's actually Peter Brakey. He makes great sandwiches. He's an Indiana University grad. And I gotta tell you the truth. I will be honest with you. He's got a finger that can flick like no other. Hey, so uh, he's a winner all yes, the way around. Yes, he is. <laughs> so now it's the seventh year, right, of tournament play. Yep. Only one team has ever repeated as champion, Cool. Yep, yep. And that was, I recall, uh, Beckman High School's Make It Happen Club yes. in 2017 to 2018. Yep. But this year, Barry, who, who do you think will be this year's major contender? <sighs> Let me preface this by taking you back to the 2020 event. Okay. Let's go back in time. Sure. The number two seed, Orange County Veterans Outpost, okay. outlasted the number eight seed, Tiller Buddies Red and Black Team, 28 to 16 hmm. for the trophy. But I will right. say, it was only fitting for the Tiller Buddies to be in that championship game, Zach. My reasoning is this. The Tiller Buddies had the biggest upset victory in TCF paper football history against the number one seed, Sons of the American Legion team. Mm. We have Eric Perez in the field reporting live at Columbus Tustin Middle School with Sandra Bensworth, who was part of that Sons of the American Legion's team. Eric, over to you. Thanks, Barry. Sandra, thanks for being here today. Glad to be here. Now listen, I know the Sons of the American Legion, they were the number one seed coming in, scoring 171 points mm -hmm. and only allowing 30 points in six games. That's amazing. As a matter of fact, that's both paper football records. <laughs> now, not to pour salt to the wound, but tell me about that loss. Oh, that loss was devastating. I think our, con our, our confidence got the best of us and we took the Tiller Buddies for granted. Do you see this paper football? I took it off the table after that loss last year, just to remind us of how bad that loss felt. We use this at all our practice sessions and we're gonna seek revenge. <laughs> now they scored 30 points on your team. That's a total amount of points you gave up in six games. It's unbelievable. They averaged only 13 points per game all season long. And for us to lose with our kind of record was just heartbreaking. So we'll be back and we're gonna seek revenge and Tiller Buddies, we're coming to get you. Well, there you have it. You heard it here first. The sons of the uh, Milk Legion seeking revenge. And of course, thank you, Santa, for being here today. Reporting live from Tessa Columbus School. Back to you, Barry. Wow, Zach, it looks like we have a rivalry going on. The Sons of American Legion will be a contender. Well, Coop, that's good to see. Good to see it. For me, my major contender comes from a system that is engineered for winning. Jim Palmer's yeah. team of the Lori's House, now called Hope Harbor. Well, it's actually Laura's House. Oh. But I, okay. Well, Lori, Laura's, Laura, uh, Laura's House. I apologize. Yep. I'm messing this all up. But it's okay. nevertheless, it's called Hope Harbor. Harbor and the OC's veteran outpost. The winner of the 2020. They yeah. were in the 2020. Well, you're not sticking your out there, uh, sticking your neck out much, are you there, Zach? 
<laughs> hey, you know what? I go with factory build franchises. Understand? Yeah. Hold on, a freshman second yeah, though. Yeah. You're talking about a sit. You're talking. You're you're talking a system club over. You're taking it over. Uh, let's say a Lord inspired team, such as the team from Aldersgate Church. Well, you know what? Always go with God, Coop. Yes, sir. If you ever, if you always go with God. Amen. Aldersgate's good. But they're no Tom Brady, they're no Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hmm. Oh. If I was you, I probably wouldn't walk in the rain much, Zach, because we've had a lot of lightning this year. <laughs> uh, Barry, you know what? Let me ask you this. Who do you think may be your biggest surprise teams for 2022? Well, my big surprise teams, I've been thinking about this for almost 700 days now. We've had a layoff. A I think time. my teams would include the Knights of Pythias. Mm -hmm. It's a Brett Oliver led team. He is almost always the biggest man on the field and nobody wants to get in his way. Not even you, Zach. Hey, you know what? I stay out the way. That's for sure. Well, you know what? Well, maybe not. Then I got a hand. Then I've got to dance to your heart's delight. They are. Hey, you got to dance? Oh, I dance. Ooh, go ahead. Yeah, go I ahead. dance. All right, go so, ahead. They are typically the youngest team and I always root for the underdog. What about you, Zach? Well, my big surprise teams for 2022, Coop, uh -huh. is any team out of Tustin High School. You know I'm a tiller, baby. Man, you're really not being specific, are you, Zach? Nah, nah, nah. Let's move on, though. Nevertheless, what's your prediction? Who's going to win it all, Coop? You know, I'm going to go with a team of athletes, the Tustin Girls Soccer Team. They can flick a field goal or an extra point, and they know how to score touchdowns. This will be scary good, Zach. Nice, nice. Well, I like the Rotary Club of Tustin, uh, Santa Ana, Lori, Abel Love, she'll have her team ready. They're due. Yeah, they are due. They certainly are, Zach. <laughs> yeah, but before we sign off, I must mention that every team that plays walks away with some cash for their charity. Yep. And there are other ways to win money besides playing paper football, right? Yeah. There are cash awards for the best team uniforms, best spirit, PR, cheerleading award, and best, best sportsmanship, to name a few, Coop. You know... Zach, I'm, gonna, I'm going to continue with this segment in just a second, but I'm going to tell you, tell this event, you and I have talked, I think we've, we've texted back and forth 1,100 times about this very subject, paper Absolutely. football. Mm -hmm. It's a serious thing. It's the most important thing in my life. Now, I've watched two grandchildren be born, and yeah, it was beautiful, it was special, but there's nothing more special than paper football. I just want to go on the record to say that. I'm sorry to my daughter. The grandkids come second to paper football. That's just my opinion. Okay. So if you've never come out, you're going to have a blast. Sure. In the last tournament year, we had a crowd of over 500 people with players from the ages of 8 to 80. Mm. We even had our own former mayor, Chuck Puckett, referee a few games. I know he'll be back. No doubt about it. Chuck Puckett is always back. Yep. Pillar of the community, excuse yep. me. Yep. I can't even talk. I'm so excited That's to okay. see Chuck. Yep. Nevertheless, man, since all of the funds go directly to the team's charities, we're looking, always looking for additional sponsors coop so we can give out more right yes sir with the right donation you could even name a field you can contact us through testing community foundations website right yep through the website nevertheless please mark your calendar for february 12th right for the 2022 tcf paper football challenge held at columbus testing middle school everyone is invited to come watch the spectacle right and again it's free. Oh, I love that price, Zach. I love it. Free 99. I love it too. Yes, cool. sir. As a reminder, you can also donate at the tournament. They like cash and will even take checks. It all goes back into our community, Zach. Man, I love cash, and you know what? Our community is the best, so let's put all the money back in. Yes, right? sir. So nevertheless, Coop, on behalf of my colleague, the Honorable Barry W. Cooper, I am Zach Bell, and we thank you for watching our preview on the upcoming TCF Paper Football Challenge. Good night, Zach. Sweet dreams, Coop. Sweet. You have more. Okay, we gotta we gotta fix that. I think Chuck and I were 35 years old, and we both got involved with the city. So we've been involved with the city for 30 plus years. So I think that makes Chuck 54 years old. It's been a while, but welcome back, everyone. I am Zach Bell, and I'm pleased to bring you the 2020 version of the TCF. It's paper. We're in 20. And I'm pleased to bring you the 2020 version of the TCF paper football. How do you get 2020? Peter Bracky. He was the original brainchild. I said it. I said it. <laughs> I said it right. Bring it back. K K E. Bracket. <laughs>